Ladies and gentlemen, I will have a live stream on this at 5.45 p.m. Pacific time. We're going to talk about this. This is the worst day possible for the Democratic Party. It'll be the worst day until we reach November 8th, where the House and Senate will go Trump Republican, CNBC. Uh, well, look, Reuters, Twitter shares to be suspended on New York Stock Exchange as Musk takes over the company. You have TMZ reporting that he has already taken over the company. It is official. So Elon Musk announces he bought Twitter in $44 billion deal. TMZ has reported this. Now, I want to read you, and we'll talk about this during the live stream, and I and I... I, I want to say this with all due respect, so hit subscribe to this channel. Be here for the live stream tonight at 5.45 p.m. This is a, an historic, monumental, biblical event, ladies and gentlemen, because free speech will actually be um, allowed to, to, to exist on Twitter. I want to read you a New Republic article. Okay, why Elon Musk's idea of quote-unquote free speech will help ruin America. This is the mindset of the morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrats. Twitter without content moderation and with Donald Trump and others re-invited means that lies and uh, information that misinforms people, let's say, will overwhelm the truth and authoritarians will take over. I'm going to explain exactly in 10 seconds why that is nonsense. It is the responsibility of Democrats, liberals, and progressives to communicate their thoughts effectively, to convince the electorate to express their viewpoint in an eloquent, thoughtful, logical, rational manner. They need to convince people. Their ideas need to win. If their ideas don't win out, don't defeat the ideas of the alleged authoritarians and, and the Trump Republicans who want to allow the Second Amendment and the First Amendment to prosper. prosper. You realize that Democrats want to erase the First Amendment, okay? Content moderation means that information is filtered through the liberal sensibilities of morally superior, highly educated journalists or people on Twitter, okay, or social media algorithms, there were endless examples, endless examples of the past couple of years. Trump worked with the Kremlin. False. Trump cleared Lafayette Square for a photo op. False. Um, uh, an actor claiming that um, he was uh, assaulted by Trump supporters. False. Uh, we can go through the lists of you can't uh, acquire something if you get something false. I mean, that's the past two years. I'm speaking in roundabout terms. Endless examples. Andrew Cuomo said so there's no need to, um, no need for undue anxiety. False. Well, okay, you can look. All of these examples were not true. Steele dossier completely fabricated, completely false, full of lies, deceit. Okay. Um, so, and then you have gossip and hearsay masquerading as journalism. Well, Trump gave classified uh, information to foreign ambassadors. Current and former officials say that is not evidence of anything. So you can look. I mean, I'm just I'm not even that's the tip of the iceberg. I'm not even explaining myself accurately or correctly or convincingly when it comes to all the 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 articles that were retracted. How many times have you had CNN employees fired because of false report of reporting that was completely false, either fabricated or not true? They had to retract stories endlessly with Trump. And so you cannot say and hit subscribe to this channel. You can't say that if you read this New Republic article, and again, all, all due respect to the New Republic, okay, and all these liberal publications, you've had a stranglehold on the narrative for six, seven years now. There will be free speech allowed on social media algorithms, especially on Twitter. And you are going to have to convince people that you are right. You're going to have to convince people that Trump is an authoritarian and that he's so prejudiced and bigoted and that he worked with the Kremlin and he's such a damaging risk to national security that nobody could possibly vote for him. But if people do vote for him, that means your ideas have lost out. It doesn't mean that information and facts and reason and logic 
have evaporated from the public square. It means that your vantage point wasn't compelling enough. The New Republic has the same vantage point as CNN, which has the same vantage point as MSNBC, which regurgitates the same thing as The Atlantic, which publishes the same things as The New Yorker, which, of course, um, um, publishes the same things as Vanity Fair and Esquire and Mother Jones and The Nation and Daily Beast and BuzzFeed and Vice and uh, all of Hollywood, Twitter and all of Hollywood and uh, all of Late Night and Jimmy Kimmel and Seth Meyers. They all believe the same things. And if 70 plus million Americans and if people during uh, v voting for the House and the Senate disagree with you, that doesn't mean that democracy has um, f been fractured. That means that you are not convincing enough. Your ideas were not either well thought out or logical or rational or reasonable enough for people to believe them or to agree with them or to trust them. Right? There's, no, I, there's no such thing as trust. But you have to, if the people of the New Republic should love the fact the people at the Daily Beast and everywhere should love the fact that Elon Musk is going to allow every single viewpoint on there from Donald Trump to Marjorie Taylor Greene to everybody that the left despises because it's so easy. If they are such a menace to democracy, it's so easy to just to just point out how you should be suspicious of them, how you should distrust them, how you should dislike them, and how their thoughts and their and their viewpoints are uh, unreasonable and damaging. But if you can't convince people, liberal, Democrat, journalist, and progressive, if you cannot convince people that Medicare for all, if you can't even convince the Democratic Party to vote on Medicare for all, if AOC and progressives in Congress can't even write a letter denouncing military action in Europe, I mean, if you, if you are pumping strategic petroleum reserves, 200 million... Um, if you're t pumping 200 million barrels of strategic petroleum reserves and GDP is up because of uh, arms sales and because of oil sales, and I was wrong about the strong dollar. I was, I was all over the place in the last segment, but no, strong dollar does not, it does not help exports, obviously. But I was, I, what I was trying to say is the GDP was up primarily because of 200 million barrels in strategic petroleum reserves that were released that lowered uh, um, oil prices in the U.S. and tens of billions of dollars in arms sales that contributed to the GDP. If you don't have that geopolitical nightmare in Europe and you don't have Biden releasing 200 million barrels of strategic petroleum reserves, then you don't have the GDP at 2.6%. And every, almost every major economist is predicting a devastating recession next year. And the Fed's going to raise interest rates by 75 basis points to the dismay of, of Wall Street that pumped up 2,000 points within about a matter of, week, uh, of a week, the, the market. So, I mean, the point is, Elon Musk knows that Twitter is going to be, would, would have been used against him. That's why he purchased the platform. He didn't purchase the platform for humanity. He knew that the same adversaries Trump has, the same adversaries that Jim Jordan and, uh, you know, um, Rand Paul and all Trump Republicans, Ron Johnson, the same adversaries they have are the same adversaries that Elon Musk has. Democrats do not even, they are not even competitive Without Jimmy Kimmel, Seth Meyer, uh, Stephen Colbert, all of political media, almost all of political media, social media algorithms silencing, uh, suppressing the New York Post, breaking the story about Hunter's graft and bribery schemes. Now, if you don't think it's graft, you have to give me a compelling reason why hundreds of millions of dollars given to Hunter and within those emails stating that, that the money is then given to Joe Biden, why that isn't graft. You have to explain that, that Biden and Hunter and Democrats are pure as the driven snow. You have to then defend Democrats and their corruption. If you cannot, that's not information that misinforms. That means you've lost the political uh, argument. You, your argument is poorly constructed or your argument is not based on fact or your argu argument is not compelling. It's not convincing. That's a problem with you, morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrat, your viewpoint, your vantage point. If you can't convince others, your indignation is meaningless. Your, your morally superior sensibilities are meaningless. And if you leave Twitter, it's just better for Trump because Trump's going to be reinstated eventually. 
and everyone you despise is going to be reinstated, which means not that you get, not that you should become more angry, uh, angrier or more indignant. You have, instead of intimidating, okay, because your intimidation and your apoplectic hysterical response to anything you dislike doesn't work. You need to convince you need to form compelling arguments and you need to explain why there isn't as much corruption or even infinitely more corruption on the Democratic par Party side. Why Democrats don't use uh, government to go after their direct political rivals, even though we see text message saying we'll stop Trump. And so all the fact checking organizations and all the four Pinocchios and all of that, it doesn't it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, simply a rebuttal is not enough to refute an argument. Your rebuttal has to be convincing, compelling, reasonable, logical, rational. And if you don't have a rational viewpoint when it comes to climate change or when it comes to uh, any other topic, if your idea of protecting the environment means energy goes up in price and people have to pay 8.5% of their wages, real wages are down 8.5%, retirement income is down 25%, and that's still down 25% even with the market upswing because that's not the way... Retirement accounts work. So if, if, if you are not convincing enough and you lose the House and the Senate and there's free speech and then people gravitate towards Trump and Marjorie Taylor Greene and uh, Rand Paul and everybody you dislike, that's on you. That's not on Trump because God forbid, I mean, they have their own vantage point. So Democrats have to up their game in terms of being eloquent, convincing, the the, the, the days of outrage, outrage, they were always meaningless, but they're even more irrelevant now. Because you're going to have investigations in the House and the Senate on everything from why the DOJ and FBI went after Trump with Mar-a-Lago as a former president who could declassify anything, to Hunter and graft and bribery schemes, to every other investigation of a bureaucrat that, that pushed to shut down the, econo the, the U.S. economy. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Elon Musk blank Twitter it's a monumental moment in American history, people. Share this segment everywhere right now. Be here tonight for the live stream, 545.